Welcome to another Drive Team Builder tutorial. In this one, I'll show you how to connect your social media profiles to Drive Team Builder. Now, connecting your profiles is important because it will not only save you time, but also make the process of customizing your theme and its various templates easier. So let's see how this can be done. In your WordPress admin dashboard, click here on the Drive dashboard. Now scroll down until you reach the smart site card, which is this one right here. And now this is where we will be setting up the social links. So there are various fields you can fill in here. You can see that the page has all the global information that you can use site-wide and any change you make here will be reflected and automatically applied to all pages or posts where that information appears. So what we need to do is to use the social section from here in order to add our links. You can see that I already have one set up and this is for the YouTube channel, but we will go through the process of setting this up from scratch in the following minutes. So for example, let's link to the official Thrive Teams Facebook page. For that, I'm going to click here on this little pencil icon. There's not much to be set up in this first part of this light box, but what you can do is set up these two last fields from here. So let's start with the link text. Here you can just type in the name you want to give to your social media link. And then naturally here's where the URL will go. And this needs to be a direct link to the profile. And that's pretty much it. You can follow the same steps for each of the available social platforms from here. So if you want, you can edit this at any time just by clicking again on this pencil icon. And as you can see, this link text is the actual name that appears right here. Whilst this link URL means that any user will be redirected to the link you set up here when clicking on the corresponding icon of the social follow element. And that element can be used anywhere across your theme templates. And I'm also going to show you how you can do that. Okay, now let's edit a template to see how these social media profiles have been connected to Drive Team Builder. So for that, let me just go back to my main WordPress admin dashboard, hover once more over Thrive dashboard here, and then select Drive Team Builder. Now let's access the template section and start editing a page template. So this is my template and here in this footer you can see that I have the social follow element added to it by default. I can just click on it in order to start editing this section and when I click on this particular element you can see here in the breadcrumbs that it's highlighted and I can start making any changes to it using this left sidebar list of options. Now in case your template does not have the social follow element added to it, you can just open this right sidebar list of elements, scroll down to the building blocks section and the element is right here. You can just drag and drop it anywhere on your template. Alright, so I already have the Facebook and YouTube channel links added to my smart side which means that these two icons are clickable. And when I'm going to preview this page, the Instagram icon will disappear from here because this is not something that I've set up. So even though it's checked here and it's set to be displayed, it will only be visible if you have set up the social link in your smart site. So in case you have set up all the social networks, as per this list, you will also have to check these boxes in order to make sure they appear here. In case you want to not display a particular social profile, you can just deselect it and it will not show up. And once more, if you have not set up a particular social profile in your smart settings, it will not appear even though it's selected here. So let me just click on done and show you what I mean by saying that. So I'm just going to preview this page. Scroll down and you can see that even though in my editor I also had the Instagram icon, it is not listed here anymore because that link has not been set up. What I have here though is the Facebook profile and the YouTube channel. And if I click on it, I'm redirected to the Thrive Teams YouTube channel just as I've set it up in my smart site. So each time you will be using this element, the links will be added by default just as you've configured them in your smart site dashboard. And it's something that you only need to set up once and then use the options from the editor whenever you want to display them or to hide them. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. As always, don't hesitate to check out other tutorials of this type if you want to find out more about this topic.